In that gospel, it sounds like Jesus could have used Roger's thesaurus because he keeps on repeating the same word over and over and over again instead of coming up with a new word. The story that was told in the gospel took place on the evening of Holy Thursday, and Jesus was speaking with the disciples. And over and over again, he said, remain, remain, remain. And that simple word, remain, comes from two very ancient words. One means to stay. That's the main part of remain. And the other word means, well, keep doing it. That's the re part of remain. So Jesus is saying, remain in me, I remain in you. In other words, he's going to stick with us. And he asks us to stick with him. All of us sometimes feel fear. Where are you? Did I do something wrong? We fear that we may be separated from the Lord by circumstances in our lives, by our sins, by our doubts. But the fact, friends, is we will always remain in Jesus because Jesus always remains in us. Remain in me as I remain in you, he said to the disciples, and he said to us just a moment ago. You could say that in the waters of baptism, Jesus was poured into us. And in the oil of confirmation, Jesus was sealed into us. And in the bread of the most holy Eucharist, Jesus' presence is nourished in us. He has made the decision to stick with us, to remain with us, and the Lord constantly calls us to stick with him. Remain in me as I remain in you. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the fish were swimming around. And at one point, the mackerel speeded up and he was swimming next to the, mac the, next to the herring. And he said, hey, herring, how do you like being in the ocean? And the herring stopped and looked and he said, ocean? What ocean? The poor fish was in the ocean and the ocean was in the fish, but the fish didn't realize it. The Lord remains in us and we remain in the Lord, but not even sometimes, but most times, we don't realize it. And you know what? Thank God we don't. Because if we are completely aware of Christ in us and we in Christ, that's all we could possibly focus on. The grass wouldn't get cut, dinner wouldn't be cooked, nothing get done. But none of that changes the truth. Jesus remains in us and we remain in Jesus always. And the moments that we do become aware of that are moments of grace. There are more moments with Jesus when no words are necessary, when everything else does stop and doesn't get done, and we rest quietly in Jesus as Jesus rests in us. The other times, most times, no need to fear or feel guilty. He's gone nowhere because recognized or not recognized, Jesus keeps his promise. I remain in you and you remain in me always.